Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, friends and enemies, Kendrick here with another video for you today. And today, I'm bringing you guys a video on The Political Machine 2020. So basically, this game is where you play as one of the presidential candidates from the 2020 election and try to beat the other party and their candidates. See, we can choose Republican or Democrat. This time I'm going to go Republican and play as Donald Trump. I'm going to be trying to defeat Joe Biden in this episode and the next in the next episode of this i'll do the reverse oh trying to defeat donald trump as joe biden but you got a bunch of other candidates here too most notably of course is the giant meteor with the ideology of giant meteorism and ideologies are basically what they stand around you know their ideologies george washington is federalist trump is trumpian populism and then there's establishment republicanism and establishment democrat like that so we're going up against joe biden and that's biden liberalism now then let's get to the campaign trump faces biden presidential matchup Alrighty. so we have the whole u.s to try and convince to vote for me i'm gonna go to texas build an hq they help me out a little bit with each varying state Alrighty, where to now let's try pennsylvania or ohio there we go Alrighty, next week Where are you going, Biden? Oh, he's going to California. I'll go to Arizona. I want Arizona. I want to see if I can actually take it in this election. Get away from Pennsylvania, Biden. That's mine. There we go. And going back down to Florida. Town halls. So... These give me more ideology points for my ideology. These help increase my effects and importance of certain stances throughout the U.S. when I make speeches and put down ads. And there we go. I got three ideology points. I'm not going to use them right now. However, I will, however, go to Michigan and make a speech about stopping coronavirus. And next week. And another town hall. Thank you, Missouri. I will go to Kentucky. Thank you, Kentucky. No, no time to... No. Time for some fundraising. There we go. And I need to go to the next week. Gonna go to Idaho. See what's there. Message from a hacking expert. Hello, future President Trump. I've been digging into some data, also known as hacking, and I've been and I'm finding some information that you'll find most informative. For a cool 25k, you can help take down some of Biden's hired help. Honestly, I think Donald Trump would choose this one and get some fixers. Alrighty, I'm gonna put you in Florida. And I'll put you in. Pennsylvania And time to go to Maine for that town hall Thank you, Maine All right, I'm gonna put an ad down in Pennsylvania Let's Say yeah blue-collar jobs that'll work And to the next week Early race. Oh And Joe Biden got an ideology getting things done in Washington Early race shows a Trump zig for everyone of Biden's zags. And the Ben Sharp Show. You have been invited to appear on the Ben Sharp Show. Sharp is widely known for his love of debate and his combative style. Make sure to come prepared or you will be seeing Ben Sharp destroy his presidential candidate all over the internet. Democrats only accuse of Russian interference in elections they lose 
Trump considers annexing Narnia, and 50% of Americans have a below average reading level today on The Ben Sharp Show. Question. I really hate the double standard when it comes to abuse of power and presidents. Fast and furious, IRS, abuse, drone striking American citizens, no problem for the left, despite actual crimes having been committed. What is your position on the impeachment of President Trump, Trump? Um, hmm, yes, this impeachment is setting a dangerous precedent. I really hate the double standard. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, I was just rereading that. The problem with green energy is that none of the existing technologies is mature yet. If a politician is serious about lowering our carbon put for footprint, then they must support nuclear energy. What is your position? Hmm. Yes. Let's do that. Thanks for, to the candidate for coming in and listening quietly while I talk. This is Ben Sharp, The Ben Sharp Show. Oh, what? I alienated my base? Okay, then. That's something. Oh, yeah, speaking of which. Uh, hmm. What ideology tree should I go down? America first, protecting our borders, getting drained in the swamp, or the China virus? I'm gonna go for draining the swamp. And then, after that, hmm. Cutting red tape, ridiculing opponents on social media, or no core packing. Red tape. And I'll just leave it at that for now. Oh, Florida loves me. Thank you, Florida. Alright, let's do election integrity. And next turn. Reducing the wealth gap. More like, uh, well, uh. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Better private insurance. And Florida's now a battleground state. Let's fix that, shall we? Thank you, Florida. And I'll do some fundraising while I'm here. There we go. Alright. Georgia, come on. You know who to vote for. And that's for me. There you go. Hey, what are you doing, Florida? Stop doing that. Let's address the opioid crisis. There we go. Alrighty. North Carolina. Next turn. More town halls. I'll take those ideology points. And I'm going to come back down to Florida. And put down an ad. Hmm. Protecting social security. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna go to Misery, and do literally nothing next turn. And Joe Biden addresses climate change. Florida, what are you doing? Oh, I gotta go to Montana for those ideology points, alright. Alright, Biden, if you wanna play the ideology points way, I'll play that game. America first, we're protecting our borders. Hmm. America first. There we go. Oh, there we go. Mississippi, what are you doing? Come on, Mississippi. Traditional values. There we go. Oh, time to choose my running mate. And I'm going to be historically accurate, so let's choose Mike Pence. No clear outcome in Trump versus Biden battle. And... Joe Biden wants to tax the rich. Alrighty. Man, that mean. Oh, I don't. I don't have any ideology points. Thank you, Oklahoma, Montana. What do you have for me? Message from Grandma. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule for little old me. I was wondering if there was anything I could help do to help you out. Some cookies, perhaps, or maybe some ideology points. Ideology points. Thank you, Grandma. Alright, let's go to Florida. Hello, Florida. Remember me? Give me some money. And now... Let's... Make a speech about the second stimulus pass package. Go to Mississippi. Go to Michigan. Thank you, Michigan. Let's go to Ohio. Let's build 
a headquarters there and go to the next turn. You have been invited to appear on the later show with Stephen Goldcut. This is a late night show, though Kolka has retained the satirical edge he employed on his past show. His audience generally skews liberal. Also, don't let the comedy fool you. Kolka knows his stuff. Welcome back to the later show. The candidates are on the trail and desperately seeking all available votes, except for Wyoming. No one has cared about that since Lyndon Johnson married a cow to try and court the Wyoming vote. It seems like there's two types of politicians. The one that's been caught sexually harassing his dozens of colleagues and underlings. And the one that who hasn't been caught yet. Which one are you? <laughs> Not funny. Every, every man is like that. I'm going to dignify having done it. There we go. That wasn't an option, but I like your optimism. Seriously though, will you do anything as president to make this situation better? Defy definitely, absolutely. Let's do that. Oh no! So let's talk about Greta Thunberg. There are literal children who seem to know more about climate change than politicians. And in a way, that makes sense. Children are the ones who have to live with the consequences. What would you say to the, these children if they asked you what you're going to do about the climate? <laughs> it's easier to make it someone else's problem. We need experts. Hmm. Let's see. I'll say that. Experts like me? Because I kind of agree with the children. I have advisors. Thank you and good night. Stay tuned for the Late Late Show where their guests are even more obscure and forgettable than ours. Trump makes case to voters. We're in... Alrighty. Well, Florida's still a battleground state. Let's fix that. By opposing gun control. No, opponent supports gun control. And then let's do some fundraising. There we go. Hmm, where to? Let's go to Virginia. And fundraise there. There we go. Next turn. What's Missouri got for me? Message from Johnny Starr, aka the Campaign Cowboy. Well, howdy, Donald. You're doing a good job defining your platform, but with old Johnny's help, your ideology can take over the map. So what do you say? How can I help the Trump campaign? Hmm, more ideology points. I have 20 of them, so I may as well start spending them. Bring in the troops home, let's do that. There we go, that makes the map a lot brighter. Alrighty, let's support Israel. And put down another ad. America first. Let's go to North Carolina. And go to the next turn. In another town hall. This time in South Carolina. There we go. Thank you, South Carolina. Go to North Carolina. And going to Florida. Let's see how Pennsylvania's up doing. We're doing all right there. Hmm. Let's do some fundraising. When all else fails, fundraise. Trump keeps steady at second place as election night draws near. It's not very nice. Oh well. I'll just see if I can catch up to him. Let's see. I oppose tax and the rich. Hmm, how about I oppose gun control? I, hmm. America first, let's do that. I think Trump would stay with that. Ooh, Wisconsin's pretty close. Here. There we go, Wisconsin. Next turn. Fundraising time. What you got from Michigan? I need money. Give me the money. Florida, what are you doing? Whatever you're doing, it's dumb. Go to me, Florida. You know you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna use another ideology. Better trade deals. Hmm. Opponent opposed.
shows his support for Israel. Let's try that here. Maybe hiring some operatives will help. Hmm. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Hopefully. Oh, what? Oh, Brexit. And Joe Biden supports the second pandemic stimulus, alright. Oh, hey, that put Florida in my hands. Thank you, Biden. I don't know what you did. But thank you for, for putting Florida in my hands. Let's go to Texas. Donate time. I need more monies. Alright, what do you have for me, Nevada? I will cut to the chase. I've seen you on television, and you look dreadful, but I like your message. How can I be of service to, tr to the Trump campaign? Give me money. <laughs> money. I need that money. Hmm. Let's address the opioid crisis again. And fundraise some. Thank you. And then let's go to Michigan. And then come back down to Florida. Hopefully that makes me look a little bit better to these states. The race draws to a close. Alright. Oh yeah, thank you Biden. I don't know what you did, but you made Florida go red. And Michigan. Alright, Pennsylvania. Let's make you go red too. America first. Hey, get away from Florida. Let's see, what do we got here? Can I use any more points? No, I can't get any more ideologies. So I'm just going to have to hope for the best. Border protection. There we go. Alright, here we go. Election time. Of course, the uh, Northeast is going to go for Biden. Hopefully Pennsylvania goes for me. And it, go and it does. Alright. Next will be Florida. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See Michigan goes. Yep. And this is how you do it. Even I was going for me. I didn't even visit there. The West Coast is going to go for Biden fully, but it doesn't don't matter anymore. I already won. And there we go. Trump wins. Trump managed to win in the Electoral College despite general lack of support from most voters. Just like in 2016. Here are the polls. And here's the map. In case anyone cares. So yeah, Trump got a lit, got a lot of states, but he didn't win the popular vote again. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Probably wasn't too long. I just wanted to do something. Since I wanted to play this game for a little while. And so I decided to actually play it instead of just look at it and think about playing it. So I hope you watch the next episode where I try and defeat Trump as Joe Biden. See you in my next video. And... Peace.